Can you great? Can you give me your views on the uh, uh, Supreme Court decision today in the McCutcheon case about aggregate limits for campaign donations being unconstitutional? You know, I'm, a, I'm not a lawyer, as you know, and I want to read that case to be sure I understand why the aggregate limits could uh, be treated differently than the individual limits. Uh, but, but I've always thought, based on other court determinations of the rights of people to contribute money, that the total limit um, not only was, was questionable in my view, but it also prohibited people from giving money directly to candidates as they, as they get to their candidate, uh, their candidate limit and have given any money to, uh, to committees. It, it is the Supreme Court. It is now the decision. Uh, I assume it will have some impact, but not a lot of impact in uh, um, contributing. I imagine there were several individuals out there who really are contributors at, at this high level of $123,000 or so who um, kind of cringed when they found out that, oh, no, the court says you, you're going to have to mark that excuse off your list of uh, why you can't help an individual campaign. But the individual limits are still there, and the uh, uh, aggregate limits apparently go away, and I don't think the Congress is likely to reinstate those in the foreseeable future, so uh, we'll have a slightly different environment, but an environment that uh, uh, probably allows for more direct candidate contributions after these major givers have given money to the state and national, to the national parties' organizations.